Hello, Dennis Madden here with another session of Virtual Training Solutions Powered by ATRA. In this segment, we're going to discuss transmission or advanced transmission fundamentals. Uh, the purpose of this program is to help identify how a transmission works, and we're going to break it down into four chapters. Chapter one is the introduction. Chapter two is torque converter operation. Chapter three is planetary gear sets to understand how the automatic transmission achieves the various ratios. And then finally, chapter four is valves and oil schematics. We'll go through a series of circuits so you understand how the automatic transmission achieves the different functions that it seeks. Now for advanced understanding, uh, I would recommend that you look at this book, uh, Hydraulic Fundamentals. I wrote it about 10 years ago or so. It's available at the ATRA bookstore and it'll go into a deeper level than what we'll achieve here. Again, the main purpose is for those who are getting into the transmission industry or who are uh, uh, wanting to learn a little bit more about automatic transmissions can understand better at how they work. It'll be the foundation for your advanced learning beyond this point. Okay, chapter one, the introduction. The aim of the automatic transmission is to duplicate the actions dr of driving a standard transmission, putting it very simply. So we have a driver here with a standard transmission and she has a few things that she's able to do uh, with the controls. So what can a driver do when controlling a standard transmission? They have control over the apply and release rate of a clutch. They can control the engagement rate and the feel between shifts by the rate that they push in and let out the clutch pedal. Uh, the second thing they can do is they can determine which gear the transmission is going to be in. Is it, are we moving forward or are we moving in reverse? Grade control. They're going to operate the transmission differently if they're going up a grade versus level ground. In addition, they're going to control it differently if they're going down a grade. And then they can also vary their uh, shifting based on the load. If you're in a stand, uh, vehicle with a standard transmission, you're going to vary how you operate that transmission and clutch based on whether you're driving alone or you have five passengers. Whether you're in a truck that's empty or one that has a half a ton of bricks in the bed. So based on the load, you'll change your driving parameters on a standard transmission. So an automatic transmission seeks to do the same thing by controlling when a shift occurs. This is gear selection, including upshifts and downshifts. If you're going up a grade, it's going to shift a lot later than if you're going down a grade. So it seeks to determine the best gear for the conditions available. How it feels, if you're stepping on the throttle harder, you're going to feel firmer shifts than if you're in a parking lot and it's a light shift condition. And as we get into shift timing and shift feel, I wanted to throw this in as, a, uh, as something to keep in mind as you're going through the program. Always address when a shift occurs before how a shift occurs. We'll cover this in greater detail later on, but this is vital. Some systems, particularly speed-related systems, you know, how fast the vehicle is moving, only controls or only influences when a shift occurs. Load factors will not only determine how a shift feels, but will also influence when a shift occurs. So this is vital. If you have a situation where there's a, a, a shift timing and feel concern, always address the timing first, then work on how the shift feels. Thank you.